Don't scream. This was recorded in May of 2019. It was the weekend of Mother's Day that we recorded it. And a little bit of um, backstory for this one. So this was a year after uh, Creatures of the Night. And like I mentioned a little bit last, I guess two weeks ago, people really, when, when I first released uh, Creatures of the Night, people really latched onto it. And some of those people included my younger sister and cousins who were like obsessed with it. They, they, there was a, um, we used to spend a lot of time in California and um, they, there was like, the way my grandparents used to have it set up was that the kids would have their own TV and the adults would have a different TV. And just like running pretty much on loop endlessly for like days and days and days on the kids TV was uh, Creatures of the Night. I mean, they, they ate that shit up like, like crazy. They loved it. And um, so then so then they were like, hey, can you make one with us? And I'm like, sure. So uh, that's what that's what that's what this is. That's the story behind this. Uh, so that the kids in this movie, um, Joy is my sister. And then they have two Ash and Linda. <laughs> Ash and Linda are um, my two cousins. So, yeah, this is my first time actually working with other people in a, in a film and it was children. Uh, it was, it went about as well as you would expect. Um, yeah, it was also my first time ever editing anything. Cause if you'll remember, um, there weren't any cuts in uh, Creatures of the Night. It was, it wasn't, so with, with Creatures of the Night, it wasn't one long take. It was two that were kind of put together, but there wasn't any cut in the footage. So it's it, it's it's it, it, two continuous long shots that are just sort of back to back. Anyway, uh, for Don't Scream, first time editing a script, first time um, writing anything, and then first time working with actors. I mean, I've written things, you know, just for fun uh, with no intention of shooting them. So this is the first script that I wrote that I was actually going to shoot. So it was because of the combination of there were kids and so they, they couldn't really remember their lines and also I didn't know how to edit anything. So it was sort of that's why you go back and you look at it and it's like so weird because you would literally, we would tell the kid their line and then we have to cut and then we have to tell them the next line and then we cut again. So every line is like its own shot, but none of it fits together. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I wanted to do, I wanted to, this story to be like, and I don't think any of this really translated onto the page, let alone onto the screen. Uh, because because they say that there's like four different versions of your movie. It's the one you have in your head, the one you have on your script, the one you shoot, and then the one you edit. I think that's, yeah, that's four. Um, so yeah, so the version of it that I had in my head was that, so you had this character named Joy, and she was sort of weird and sort of like an outcast, and it's because of that status that she ultimately at the end of the movie becomes the killer because she feels like she doesn't have a choice. And so that's sort of what the what I wanted it to be. But that's not really what happened, although I still think that that last shot, I don't really I don't really like that this this is probably hopefully the 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 worst thing I'll ever I'll ever shoot, but I do really like the last shot of the, of the movie where it like zooms in on her face. Um that's really fun. So anyway, yeah, we were shooting this in in May in California, and it was really, really hot, and it was miserable, and uh, we were working with children, and um, nobody really knew what they were doing, and uh, so so towards the end of the movie, um, I guess, I guess towards the end, there's that shot you can kind of like where where um, Linda's on the ground, and she's crying, and that was because. Isabella, my cousin who's playing Linda, just started crying randomly. And we didn't know why. And so we, we recorded some of it and put it in the movie. So, but, but the thing is, in the video, she wasn't, record, she wasn't crying, but we got the audio and we kind of put it over it. It was, it was, a, it was a mess. Um, yeah, it was so hot. And, and, and the shot where you have Ash with the screwdriver uh, <laughs> Sam being the stranger, um, we were trying to throw, we, we, we made this sort of, uh, blood mixture, um, with ketchup and we were like throwing it on him and, but you couldn't see any of it in the camera. So this kid was just like miserably hot and just covered in ketchup, but you couldn't really see any, see any of it. 
Um, so yeah, it was it was a, it was crazy. There's that one um, right before that shot. There's a shot where the stranger falls over, and that was not intentional. I think it looked really good. I think it looked good in, in the finished product, but it was completely unintentional. And, and, and the actress we got for her was like, I, I hope we got it because I'm not doing it again. I was like, yeah, we got it. It looks great. So yeah, I mean, there's not a lot to say about this as opposed to, 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 to Creatures of the Night. But um, this, yeah, that's, uh, that's Don't Scream. Um, hopefully it is the worst thing I'll ever shoot. I, I can't imagine shooting anything lower quality than this. Um, yeah, that is that. Working with children is, is tough, and uh, obviously you need to know how to edit and what, how to communicate your idea. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.